Okay, so here is some of you asked about um, finding uh, how do you use software to do a problem like this. So I'm reading this problem of the SATs, and we're trying to test to see if. Uh, let's see. So the mean score is 505 nationally, and we're trying to see if these 40 graduates from from Stevens High um, have a different average than the national. They aren't telling us whether it's higher or lower, just that it's different. So that makes this a two-tailed test, which is important to know. I mean, H H O would be that mu equals 505, and H one would be that it's not equal to. So then, how do you get the work how did we do all this work without having to do this all by hand so i'm just selecting this text or this this all the data and i'm just i'm on a pc i'm using firefox with a mouse i'm just highlighting lighting them all and then if you use the control c or command c on a mac um you know that's going to copy that to the clipboard memory and then what we're going to do is we're going to go out to that Rossman, Rossman Chance um, website. So let's see, I'm going to have to switch windows here. Uh, let's hopefully that'll this will work for you. Um, let me see what I can do here. I think it's this tab let's see here we go so i've linked to this you know many times in the in the in the forums but i'll, I'll post it again once i post the link to this video so i'm at that rossman chance website um i'm going to select one mean because i'm just dealing with uh, the one mean the 505 and then i'm going to select this paste data box and that gives me this place to paste in that and i'm going to clear what's in there and then i'm just going to control v or command V if you're on a Mac, that'll paste that data I just copied in there. I'm gonna use my data, so there's the sample mean, certainly higher than 505. I guess we'll see if it's statistically significant. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I guess you should have unchecked this. So when you come to the first come to the screen, you get this option, you can either have a calculated confidence interval, specify the level of confidence. And this, these are T distributions, right? Because we don't know the population standard deviation. If you're going to do work with the Z distribution, you have to go use a different applet. Um, so this just works with means and with the T distribution for means and the Z distribution for, for proportions. So I'm going to select the test of significance. I'm going to change it to the 505 and I'm looking for not equal to. So do you see the way when I just clicked on that button, I could just click through to, to get the H1 I wanted and then it automatically populates it with, the, with whatever I said uh, the null hypothesis was. I'm going to click cal calculate, and here's my there's my t-score. If they're asking for the degrees of freedom, and sometimes web uh, web design will. Um, here's a 39, and then here's my p-value. So now I'm going to write this down so I don't lose this. So I can go back to the other screen and make sure that I did this right. So let's see, I've got a t-score of 2.2. .2 four and the p-value is 0 0.0309. You notice also with a two-tailed test how it's doubling the tail areas and it shows us that. If I had just done a, a one-tailed test, I mean see that's obviously the sample was was uh, higher than the average so I'm getting too large a p-value. That's one way you'll know if you've, you've selected the wrong HO is your p-value will almost never be greater than 0.5. Sometimes with a two-tailed test, it is. But with a one-tailed test, it should never be greater than 0.5. So that should tell you you should switch to the other side. And then you can see how that p-value, same z-score. I mean, the sample means still the same. But it's that's just the one-tail area. And when you go to a two-tailed test, it doubles that. Okay, so now let's go back to um, the web assign page and see if I got this right. So I'm going to share another screen. Let's see. Assignment previewer. So I got a T score of 2.24. I got a P value of 0 0.039, uh, 309. And because that's a, let's see, they told me it's a 1% level of significance. Since my p-value is larger than that, I can't say it's a rare event. 
So I'm going to fail to reject HO. Um, there's not enough data to justify. And I'm just going to submit this, not do the rest of them. And it looks like I got that all right. So that's how easy it is. I encourage you, if you haven't been using the applets and you've been calculating the Z-scores, T-scores by hand and using tables, I mean, this is great and easy way to do it. And it's not like it's cheating. You're just letting it do all the calculation for you. It's much more important for you to understand how to set up the hypotheses, what's the claim, make, make the decision. Okay, so I hope that helps you do this. So remember, you just highlight your, highlight the data you want, and then control C, then go to that applet, select use data, and paste it in. Okay, I'm gonna stop this recording and we'll talk to you in the forums.